Everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John once again. Um, what I'm going to be doing to uh, tonight is smoked haddock with crushed new potatoes. Now this is going to be absolutely awesome. It really is. It's so easy to do. Um, I think you're going to like this one. Um, I just want to thank Freddie Forrington um, who brought me this uh, from Grimsby can't get it any fresher than that uh, he brought me the crab, uh, crab claws he brought me the Ginny wings which is skate now this skate um, I'm going to be doing a recipe for that on Wednesday so that's going to be another fish dish uh, if you've never had skate this is going to be absolutely fantastic you're really going to enjoy that one that's on Wednesday at 9 o'clock UK time um, can everybody check uh, Freddy Forrington's new uh, video out T-Rex if you like T-Rex he's done an awesome uh, guitar playing for that absolutely fantastic the guy is so talented he's under underestimated he really is um, you've got to go and check Freddie Fonson out please go and check his video out for him he's absolutely awesome right I'm just going to say uh, hi to one or two people um, Julian Roberts thanks for coming you finally got here absolutely fantastic um, Maria thanks sweetheart for coming Freddie Forrington not a problem my friend crafting with Fury um, Fury um, I watched a bit of the live on Nana's um, cooking um, finally seen you live uh, you're absolutely uh, awesome beautiful lady you really are uh, that was fantastic How was your weekend? It's been absolutely fantastic, thank you, Julian. Um, I think I've ate too much of this uh, smoked tallow because it's, it's repeating on me, but hey, well, when you've got it, you've got to eat it. Cause it's very hard to get over, and it's so expensive, it's unbelievable. Uh, beautiful, awesome. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Um, not seen you for a while, but um, I'll have to be checking you out. Don't you worry about that. Anybody that leaves me a comment, I should go straight back to them and I should be watching. And I'll also smash that like button for you. That really isn't a problem. Thanks for coming, Russ. Mr. Penguin's in. Another great, great pal of mine. Absolutely fantastic, he is. And don't forget to sell my sugar, uh, Russ. I'm coming for that tomorrow. Right, while we're waiting, um, get yourself a pan of water boiling water just put some bit of sea salt in there we don't want too much salt in your potatoes because um, smoked haddock has got that little bit of a salty taste to it so we don't need any um, we don't need any seasoning with this right, I just want to make sure I've said hello to everybody would I? yes you would um, have we missed anything? What are you making? I'm doing a smoked haddock, sweetheart. Um, no, it's Julian. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for calling you, sweetheart. We're doing smoked haddock with um, some buttered, uh, crushed new potatoes. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yum. I'm Mr. Penguin. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anybody. Maria, you're always here, sweetheart. That's such fantastic of you. Now, I'm not expecting a lot in tonight because there's quite a few lives going on. So, um, let's get uh, let's get cooking and let's get this done, shall we? John Brooks, why what you up to? I wanted to show some love. John Brooks, thanks for coming. I'll get back to you. 
Not a problem. UK Scrappers, another great channel. Absolutely awesome. They're all coming in now. How's your weekend? John Brooks. Yeah, Maria. Right, I think I've mentioned everybody. Is there anybody I've not mentioned? Right, this is what you need. A pan of uh, boiling water, and we're going to turn that down to a medium. A medium boil. Whenever you cook vegetables, or, you know, potatoes or anything like that, always put them in a medium boil. Same with your vegetables. Or, if you're doing potatoes, put the colander on the top, put your Brussels sprouts in there, fine beans, cabbage or anything like that, and it will take about seven or eight minutes. That's the way to do your steam if you ain't got enough pans. Now that's another tip for you. Right, what you need is new potatoes. Now these are cypress ones. These are absolutely awesome. And all I've done is just washed them. That's all you need to do. These are absolutely awesome potatoes, they are. You want about four or five of them, cut them in half. So I'm just going to drain these off. Drop them in there like so. And that'll be enough. Right, all we need to do now is get them boiling. It will take about 10 to 12 minutes. Then I'm going to show you what we're going to do because it's all about timing. So come 18 minutes into the video, into the live stream, they're going to be absolutely puckers. And all you need for this is a few frozen peas, some chives, chopped chives. And what we're going to do when we do the smoked haddock. We're going to put some nice cherry tongs in. Now, cherry tongs go very well with smoked haddock. Absolutely awesome. And the flavours from the cherry tomatoes. I don't use any other tomatoes but cherry tongs. They've got to be cherry tongs. They're so sweet. Unbelievable. Great for cooking, they are. I'd like to thank everybody that's given me a like. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really does mean a lot to me. Then what we need then is a nice piece of smoked haddock. Look how thick that is. That, that is absolutely... I wondered how long it would be before it crashed, but there you are. Beautiful piece of haddock. Absolutely awesome. It's expensive, but that's quality. Just going to move the board out of the way. See what we're basically doing, we're just waiting for these potatoes to cook now. And then I'm going to show you how to do this uh, smoked haddock. Absolutely fantastic. 11 people in, 9 likes. Absolutely uh, awesome of you, it really is. I can't thank you enough, I really can't thank you enough. Because without you people, it ain't worth doing. It really isn't. Yay, doll. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Uh, she's the piano player. She makes that piano talk. If you've not checked Yay, doll out, you should do. Because she's absolutely fantastic. She really is. Hello, buddy. Looking forward to this. Hillbilly Select Review. Hi, John. Thanks for coming. Absolutely fantastic of you. It's an honour to see you, my friend. It really is. Joy, Joy Stewart, thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely fantastic. And the thing is about these channels on here, I can guarantee that they're all um, absolutely genuine. They really are. These are the ones that come every single week. They really are. Fantastic. It really is. And that's what we want. Keep showing the love to each other. 
it was okay to okay, just chilling. Julian, great, how are you? Ah, oh, yeah, you know, fantastic. Got to check out, yeah, you know. Each, show the love to each and every one of you. And I'm near enough, damn it, I put my life on it, that these people will always show the love back. They really will. Because I can vouch for them. They always come and support me every single time. Maria. You're awesome, sweetheart. Here's another great lady. You're, you you raw wonder. Thanks for coming, sweetheart. Absolutely fantastic. I know we've all got things to do and that. You know. But loyalty all round, John. I agree. There he is, Rab. Mr and Mrs Rab. Fantastic guy. He's like a brother to me, Rab. He's an absolutely fantastic guy. Great supporter. And we'll always show the love. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks for coming, Rab. You're going to love this one, mate. If you like smoke together, I think you do, because you've already told me. But this is so easy to do, Rab. Even you can do this. You can do this with your wife. So, Mrs. Uh, Rab, um, make sure he does this for you. Because this is absolutely fantastic. I love you, Don. I haven't Jeff yet. What it is, Jeff, he's, um, he does all my editing for me. He's not been having to do it for like, he did that, that birthday one, he did that, that was absolutely fantastic. I'm really pleased with that one. He did a great job on that. But he's a bit uh, camera shy. So I'm the one that does all the cooking. Jeff does all the editing. Outdoor adventures and traveling. traveling. You finally got here, sweetheart. Another great channel, great family. Brilliant. All keep showing the love to each other. Yankee, Yankee uh, Live, another great channel. Keep showing that love, everybody. Each and every one. There's 18 people in here. Well, there's 17 now because somebody's scarfing. But what I just want to say to you, show that love to every single one of these, peop these people on here and your, ch your channel will grow. But actually, make sure you watch it. Watch their channel. That's all you'll be asked to, to do. Watch two minutes of it. Because if you just... If you subscribe to somebody on here and you don't go back and watch their channel, they won't know you've been. And what happens as well, YouTube will take that... Um, you'll have it till the morning and come morning you will have lost that subscriber because you've not even watched that channel. And at the end of the day, why would you want to... Um, Subscribe to a channel that you've never even watched. Now think about it. Keep showing that love. And make sure you go and watch for at least two minutes. Even if you don't like the video, just smash the like button for them. It's nothing out of your life. You're not gonna you're not gonna lose anything by it. Beach Live 78. Hiya bud. Um he's, he's another great guy. He needs he should have more room subscribers than what he's got. Because he's a great supporter, he shows the love. You know what I mean? Come on, let's 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 get Beach Life 78. Let's get him some love. Show him some love. Well, this is all my family here anyway. Being very misty here today, bud. Are you by the sea, yeah, uh, Beach? He's lucky where he is. He, he gets all the crab and everything. You know what I mean? Absolutely brilliant. I wish you could send me some. But if I ever go down to uh, Cornwall Way, make my, make, my, make my word, I will come and see you. I will, I'll track you down, I'll go and have a part of Guinness. Ivory, John, hello you all. Thanks for coming, absolutely brilliant of you. I remove the ones that don't comment on my music. Freddie, that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. I mean, we'll go through ours and... If we're not, if we haven't seen them for three or four months, we're not going to become a number. It's a waste of time. We're not going to be a number. I'll tell you that now. I just, I'd rather unsubscribe from them. I mean, I keep hovering over uh, nine hundred and forty-four. It goes up and down like a bloody area, but I just can't seem to get to that three thousand. 
But at the end of the day, who cares? Game, great live stream. Thank you. Patrick Stubbs, thanks for coming to eat that. Is, is it buffering? Is anybody else, uh, is there is buffering at all? Hi Pat, another great lady. Good Ivy, Maria, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, some great people in here. Joy Stewart, thanks for coming sweetheart. Absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm just gonna try these potatoes. A little bit away yet. Just got to give them potatoes a couple more minutes and then I'm going to put the peas in. Daniel Dunn, new viewer, you're welcome to come here anytime you want. You really, you, you're always welcome. Everybody's welcome to see Gary on Jeff and John. They really are. We just want you to be genuine. Because all these people in here are all absolutely fantastic people, they really are. You will not get anybody uh, more genuine than the people that are in here. And if these take to you, you're okay. You really are. But you're always welcome, Danny. Not a problem. Look how everybody's come and say hello to you. Because that's what they do. This is a proper channel. It really is with some nice people. You're killing Howdy! Howdy there! I'll just put that on there for now. Right, I can just about get my fork into there about that much. Then it's time to put the, um, the peas in. So we're just going to put an handful of peas in there, like so. Frozen peas. Bosh. Another couple of people. Kathleen, thanks for coming, sweetheart. I was about to go and watch you live, but I had to, I had to do something, sweetheart. But I've not been getting any notifications, and you know I'll always be there for you. Hello awesome people, you're so right Kathleen. If you want to check out another great channel, check out Kathleen Elliott. I think we all know her. She's absolutely fantastic. Great people, great supporters, great uh, uh, genuine people. John, can you get the smoked salt cod over your way? Um, you can. Um, but personally, uh, uh, Yankee, I don't really like that. I like the yellow one, the one that's been dyed. It seems to have more flavour to it. That's the reason why we've got that. And that's courtesy of Freddie Forrington. So, like I said, check him out, Freddie Forrington. People um, subscribe to him and then you don't see him, and then you don't see him again. So check his latest one out, T-Rex. Beach Live 7 you're bound to like that one. Beach life. Sounds a great dish, but can't wait. Just waiting for these. Another couple of minutes. Beach life, you've got to wait, my friend. And wrap. Right. They're going to be ready in about five or six minutes. So what we've got to do now... Get yourself a pan. Fire. Right, 16 people in, 13 likes. Can't be bad. Two ounces of butter. From one end to the other, it's two ounces. I've done this so many times, but I'll guarantee you that will be two ounces.
Do you like the music on the, the one that I play? Is it, is it is it any good or should we change it? And I just want to thank everybody that wish my uh, awesome wife happy birthday. That was absolutely fantastic of you. It really was. And I do appreciate it. Shown the love. And if you'd have been over here, the old lot of you would have been. I'd have invited everybody. I really would. What addict is it? I've just noticed there. It's smoked addict. It's, it's just addict. And what they do, they put it over a smoked, uh, all the, all the, in these smoke houses. A bit of bark and all that, and just put it on racks. That's what it is, smoked addict. Well, just turn that down. For medium simmer. Put your attic in, face down. Not the skin side, we've already took the skin off, but do, the, do that piece first. So face down. I'm going to cook that for about three or four minutes each side. So what time is it now? 22. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. You don't want to overcook fish. Don't even touch it, just leave it. Just roll it round like that. Absolutely love fish, always have done. Don't have you ever heard of a recipe for Finny Addy? No, I haven't, sorry. Rob Zown made, hello, just popped in to say hi. Okay, mate, thanks for coming, Rob. I expect you've got to go to work. IVE, thanks for coming. Kathleen, Julie Roberts, fantastic. Joy Stewart. Google it when you when you get the chance. I think you'll like it. Okay, I'll do that. And you, when you when you're using butter, you don't want your pan too high. Otherwise, you're going to burn it. So I've got it on it just below medium, like a just above simmer. That's what you want. And if you want, you could put a bit of um, chopped garlic in here. It's entirely up to yourself. But I've chose not to put garlic in tonight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cherry tops in. Just to sweeten that habit. <clears throat> and the thing is, when you're cooking, it's all about timing. Got to be. Got to be. See, by the time I've done this, they'll be ready. Just keep swirling it around, that's it. Right. Oh! Oh, the glaze on that. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic, it really is. Look at the glaze on that. Beautiful. That's what we want to caramelise it. Another three minutes, that's going to be ready. Now what we're going to do, put some fresh chives in. Put your fresh chives in there like so. You 
Carry pounds. Another, another three minutes to be ready. Turn them over. So you're caramelising these uh, cherry tomatoes both sides. Flip them over. That smells absolutely awesome. No, I'm not kidding you. And I'll tell you something else now. Get some garlic in there. That's what you want. If you love garlic, get it in there. But garlic is one of the finest things you'll ever eat. Oh, absolutely fantastic. That's not far off. That's not far off at all. 15, 14 lights, thank you. I love garlic on. It turns me. What turns you on, sweetheart? Well, keep eating that garlic. Right, that's ready. I'm gonna drain the uh, tomatoes and peas. Put them back in there like so. Put it uh, put the heat back on. And what we want to do uh, is get the excess water out of there. So put it on, on the stove, turn it on full bore for about a minute. It takes all the water out. So when you're doing potatoes, get them in there, put them on the stove for about a minute. Gets all that moisture out of it. Now that's another tip for you. Brilliantly done, thank you. Watching this and pointless this rerun at the same time. Beach life, absolutely awesome. Right, that's the excess water out of there. Well, I better leave it on there. Can you? With my butter. And what we need in here is some more butter. You like that butter? And all we want to do then is just push them like that. Just scoop them like that. We don't want them mashed. Like I said, we don't um, need any salt in it because the salt from the, um, the smoked haddock will compensate for that. So now it's time for plating off. Hello, you all right son? Presentation means everything.
pour a bit of that butter on there like so. And there you have smoked haddock with crushed new potatoes and some awesome, and I mean awesome, cherry tomatoes. Now is that alright for you? Yeah? I've just got to take my thumbnail. I'll have that there. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, my boy's here now, so he wants to try it, yeah. yeah. So that is his dirty zoom. Is that nice? Yeah, that is nice. Right. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Dad, can you bring it to like a little bit off and put it on a plate for me? Hang on. Well, take the plate though, you, and I've already took the bum now. Okay. So, my boy's got that now, so that's me out of the game. <laughs> can't beat it. Go ahead, John, munch bag away. I can't, my lad's got it now. That's that's me done. Save me a bit of that, bad, won't you? Yeah, no, I'm just putting some on the plate for me. Oh. First time trying it, though. That's how good he is, you know, he's, he's going to save me something. He's going to put some on the plate. You know how much you like fish, though? Peterson DN, very good. Thanks for coming. Another great guy. Been, been mates big time. Peterson DN, been, well, it's got to be nearly two years we've been uh, sharing the love to each other. And you always get your regulars, you really do. You'll eat it up. Bloody <laughs> fine. Come on. Yeah, is that enough habit for you? Yeah, it's plenty there. Know yeah. what you want. What's in this, Dad? The mash? What's in the mash? Look at Okay. You know all the mash. Well, it's crushed potatoes more than anything. That's what I've got left. Alright, no problem. But, I don't mind, uh, these are the youngest one, I've got three lads, that's Luke. Um, awesome son, really is. Now, he's not a fish lover, but he tried some of my smoked haddock today and he said, Dad, if you're doing that tonight, can you save me some? I said, son, of course I'll save it for you. You know why? Because fish is awesome. Fish is good for you. I mean, they eat a array of um, array of food. You know, if they have steak, they've got to have fillet steak they have. You know, because they know what they want. In other words, they're spoiled. Oh, beautiful. And like I say, when you do these um, these crushed potatoes, whatever you do, don't put any salt. Don't put any, no additional salt on it. Because the saltiness from the smoked haddock will season it for you. That's entirely up to yourself. If you like your dinner salter, we advise you, do not put any extra salt on. Because otherwise, 
you'll spoil this dish, you really will. Cherry <laughs> tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes um, and smoked haddock is absolutely awesome. Now look how white that fish is. And the secret to cooking any fish is you don't overcook it. Because if you cook it too long, it's like rubber. And we don't want that. It's too expensive to spoil. If you don't want to put peas in, put some spring onions in. And like I said earlier on, put some garlic in. It's entirely up to yourself. At the end of the day, you're the gappers. You tell me what you want to do. Lady Dislot, thanks for coming. Not seen you for a while. Absolutely brilliant. Who don't like cherry toms? Well, Ian, if you find anybody that doesn't like cherry toms, we need to lock them up. You know what I mean? Because they're absolutely fantastic. I will not eat any of the tomatoes. Because some of them are just like water. Crap. Love the idea of cherry tons in that dish. Thanks Kathleen. You're going to love this sweetheart. You've got to do this. Honestly. Freddie Farrington. That fish that you got me is absolutely 150% top draw. Cheers, mate. Honestly, that is absolutely pockets, that is. It's the best uh, bit of fish I've had for a long time. It really is. And finding top quality fish is so hard uh, where I live. But if I can't get top quality, I will not cook it because I don't cook rubbish. Mate, another great dish. Well done, bud. Thank you. Sorry I'm late. I was out shopping. Lady Slots, um, you've got to do what you've got to do, sweetheart. But you've come um, and, and, and shown up, which is absolutely awesome of you, and we do appreciate that. So, Lady Slots, thanks for coming. And at the end of the day, we're all busy people. We really are. You know, you've got to be totally, totally um, committed to doing... Um, a channel on YouTube because it can take over your lives. Um, what annoys me more than anything is that I just can't get it out of my head, I really can't. Um, there was somebody that used to come and see us quite often, so I went and checked them out. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it's, how, it, how they're doing, but they're getting between two thousand and three thousand views per video. And when I last seen them, they had something like eighteen thousand, uh, eighteen hundred subscribers. Now, I hadn't seen them for like six weeks. They've got twenty six thousand. Now, surely that can't be right. And you know people buy views and they buy subscribers and that. But eventually, YouTube will cotton on to that. And they will take them away. It's alright having all these numbers, but if you're not getting the views and the watch time, it's a waste of time. It really is. Um, and you've really got to gear yourself up to uh, keep coming every day. I mean, we go out twice a week. I mean, there's some weeks where... I'm like racing back, I mean we've been out for a meal tonight and I'm racing back uh, to cook for you because I don't like letting you down. So that's the reason why I keep doing it. Anyway, there was a guy on here the other day had a million views filming himself. A million views. Filming himself, so self, watching paint dry. Really, laugh out loud. You know what, Bates are? That is absolutely crackers. It's absolutely. I can't get me breath about that. Some of the some of the stuff that you produce, um, Bates are, and I'm not kidding you. I don't tell lies. You should get more views than what you're getting, because it's interesting. 
and it's a beautiful part of the country where you live. And some of the things you do, mate, honestly, you deserve more views than what you are getting. We all deserve more views. But it makes you wonder, you know, where the favouritism is. You know, you've got to get to the top of the list before the start, anybody else starts watching your, uh, your channel. You know. People like nonsense, more it seems, John. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what I ought to do? I ought to get a, a bowl, get myself a, a little goldfish, put it on there, and then let my camera run for about 365 days. Then you get your watch on. And people will watch that. It's, it's crackers. And then when you've got uh, channels that are putting a lot of effort into it, and spending bloody money in that, they're the ones who don't get to no recognition. They really don't. Beach life is not a problem, my friend. You're absolutely awesome, you know that. Good idea, Kathleen. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. Be a brilliant idea. So let's all get a fish fish bowl, and I'll see if I can get some fish, goldfish. I'll sell you one for a dollar. How about that? Eh? Crazy. Can't resist this Abby. <laughs> that is a proper waller. Is Mr. Penguin still on here? Mr. Penguin, you still there? Oh, you have already eaten, sweetheart. But, I can't resist the fish. I'm not so bothered about the, um, the crushed potatoes, but I never leave fish. Fred, he's come to brought me this fish, I'll tell you. I, I, I'm eating nothing but smoked salad. No wonder I'm getting fat. Before the, the sea lion spots him. Absolutely fantastic. Right. I just want to thank Goldfish Would Be Cheaper for my channel of going to casino isn't cheap. I'll tell you something now ladies and so this is no word of a lie. We went to Spain and the wife gave me 200 euros. She said let's go to the casino. And I'm not kidding you. Um, I had six winning spins. And my wife said come on let's get off. Um, it was getting boring now, boring because I was winning, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. My lucky number is twenty-three and two, and I used to do naught to six, nineteen to twenty-seven, and I'm not kidding you. I, used to, I plastered it all, all around them numbers. The first number that came in was twenty-three. It was, I was stunned. It was just as though it was fixed. You know what I mean? 23, the next number was number 2, and to cut a long story short, I had 6 winning numbers, and I had a fortune on them. I ended up winning, in 20 minutes, I ended up winning 4,000 euros. Now that's the last time I've been to a casino. But if I ever do go to a casino, I have a, either a couple of hundred euros, or 200 pounds. If that goes, that's me out. I don't go bar me. But if I win, I win, and I don't give me back. I'll go, I'll go for about, like I say, that, that was six winning spins, but I will always walk away winning. And if, I'm lose, if I lose 200, that's me done. That's the way to do that, is when you win, win big. Get out of here. Texas Life, Julie. Thanks, sweetheart. I was going to text you to see if everything was all right, because I've not seen you for a couple of weeks. I do care about everybody. I really do. It's absolutely awesome to see, it really is. Great idea. And that's the truth, it really is. 
I can bring my wife and she'll vouch for me. In fact, when I came home, I chucked it all on the carpet and I said to the kids, yeah, put that in hundreds for us and then spent it on them as you do. Thank you, UK, made my day. See you when, Maria, thanks, sweetheart. Thanks for coming. Absolutely love it to bits. The Night Owl, thanks for coming. You're always welcome here. So that I'm coming to the end now. Um, please watch the replay if you want to know how to do this. This is so easy. This is going to give you um, some ideas. It really is. John, have a great week, my friend. You have a great week. Have an amazing week. Everybody have a, an amazing week. Anyway, I just want to say um, thanks for coming. Love you loads. And I hope you've enjoyed this um, this cooking demonstration. From me, I just want to say that is an awesome wallet and you're all absolutely pockets. See you soon. See, hope to see you Wednesday. Thank you.